Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome into your daily reading. Let me call in your spirit guides to come into my spirit room while I'm busy burning the herbs. If you want to have a free tarot reading with me done, um, it is going to be like a personal reading. So I give a shout out to somebody every day in these daily readings. Um, and I, you can ask a question. You comment below with your zodiac sign. You check back tomorrow or the following day and I answer your question. So let's get into today's reading for you tarot, for Taurus tarot, for Taurus. Let's see spirit guys please show us what we need to see give us the messages we need to receive and show us what we do not see coming so let's see for you Taurus what is going on around you currently this could be a challenge or it could be the kind of situation you're finding yourself in what is going on four of air <laughs> I like literally just had this card I don't know how they're all coming out the same um, it says time for rest and to take a vacation you're healing from something here um, the allow more time before making a decision and meditation provides answers it always does usually sometimes even if meditation doesn't give you an answer it kind of does in a roundabout way so um, I feel like you're healing from something you're healing from pain. You're pulling your energy back and away, maybe from a person or from a situation. Um, you're tired, so you don't want to move on with something. And you need to spend some time right now in your own energy. Okay, so let's see what we get some more clarifiers out here. And then we're going to read the energy under the stick and see what we do not see coming. You're going to figure this out as you're going along. You may have been dealing with a person that's Knight of Wands energy. That means their behavior, very wishy-washy. Okay, um, promises made, promises not kept. Somebody uh, talking really big about how much they love you, how much they want to spend a lot of time with you, how much they ha they're even telling you their future. I can see myself with you. I can see myself, but actually they don't really know what they want. And that makes a very unstable person because if somebody doesn't know what they want, then how can they make you promises when they don't even know what it is they want out of life? It's false promises. So let's see what else comes in here and love it. This is why you're pulling back. Uh, you're pulling back for this. You're pulling back for the sun. The sun card is this. It's one. You know why? What I love about the sun card. It's peace. It's happiness. It's growth on your own. It's stability. And it's not easy in life. You know what's the hardest thing to come by in life? Peace. Peace and happiness. It's one of the hardest things to find. And I feel like this is why you're in this four of swords energy. You are fighting for your own peace and your own happiness. And that's why you're in that energy. That is absolutely beautiful though. Let's see what we do not see coming. Got a knight of swords coming in here. Got an ace of swords. You got love coming. You got love coming. You will not believe it. You got love coming. This is not the same person. I feel... You kind of shut off here. You're looking at your own happiness. You might even be going, I'm so fed up with love. I'm just going to be on my own. You know what I mean? But with this Knight of Swords, it's not the same Knight. You have somebody with a very clear thought, somebody that knows exactly what they want, and they're carrying a sword. It's the same person. There is somebody coming into your world here. Can be an air sign. I'm just saying, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming in here. Um, this can be a fire sign. I'm just saying as well, Aries, Leo, Saggy. And those are the ones that are the hardest to pin down in relationships. The Ace of Swords shows that this person coming in here wants to be successful with you, wants to know you, wants to be victorious with you. That's what the Ace of Swords means. I feel like you're disbelieving. Or you're like, you know what's so funny? It's like the timing here is all completely out. It's almost like somebody breaks your heart and then you get like, angry and you shut yourself off and then yeah the universe brings somebody that may not break your heart but you just don't want to see them you know what i mean interesting energy i'm curious i'm going to check under the deck for you um you are going to have to trust something here because under the deck we have got the judgment card karmic cycles ending and look at this six of swords and i can't stop i'm sorry <gasps> and a two of cups and the world card stop deborah stop you see Something's coming in when you're least expecting it to come in. It is a person that's so perfect for you with a star card. You got um, literally Aquarius's energy. Uh, you are being led away by these angels here with a judgment card from the past towards what you actually want to have, which is the world. And that is love as well that's coming in. It's just I don't think you'll trust this person or believe this when it comes. Surprise, surprise. I'm just saying this is actually really good. It's actually, it's... 
this person's very determined. So I even feel if you got your 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 wall up a little bit, I feel like they're still gonna come towards you. They're still gonna get to know you, and they want to be successful or be victorious with you and move forward with you. And this person's really genuine. I will tell you that I've never seen it like this before in a reading. Coming out like this, that's exciting. But there we go. Thank you so much for coming in. If you wanna have that reading, comment below. Check back tomorrow or the following day. Otherwise, I'm sending my love in your direction. Bye.